Hi everyone, Katie here from Clark's Condensed and today I have a really exciting tutorial that is going to make SVG creation a lot easier for some of you. My favorite design program is called Canva. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles of some of the other design programs out there, but for people like me who maybe not might not have the most creative ideas out there, it really gives you a nice framework. So I was really, really excited when I found out that you can now create SVG files using the Canva program. For basic users, you are going to love creating SVGs in here. You can design and then export them to use with your Cricut, Silhouette, Glowforge, or for whatever purpose you want. But I think you're going to love this. So here's a little bit about how you can use Canva to create SVG files easily. All right, so here is canva.com. Like I said, you do need a pro account for this, um, but you can sign up at the link in the video, in the description for the video, or with Rakuten, at the time of this recording, you can get 40% cash back. So that's something you can consider, and I have a link to that as well. So I have my pro account, um, and I'm going to click on Create Design. And I just do an Instagram post, but you can do whatever background you want. I have a, the big question a lot of people have is can they sell these SVG files? I would say make sure you read the terms and conditions for your account. It can be a little tricky with Canva and reach out to them. But I would say for the intents of this video, this is just for personal use. So you can come in, you can upload your own images, you can use your own fonts um, that are already installed on your computer, or you can use one of their many fonts that they have. Um, I'm just going to come into their elements. They have tons of different options. I'm just going to click on this little uh, sun. You can see that right here. And then um, I'm going to type in, here comes the sun. And we can change the font to something a little bit more fun. Let's see. And then I'm going to click on effects. There's a lot of different effects you can do in here. And I'm going to do curve. That's one of my favorites. I'm going to make that a little less curved. Um, you know, not the most pretty design, but I'm just trying to show you what we can do here. Um, let's change that to orange. And then after you've made your design and it's everything you want it to be, come click on download, SVG, and make sure you click transparent background. Then you're going to click download. And then let's go into design space. I've already, I was already messing around with this earlier. So we're going to click on upload, click upload image. We'll browse. Um, here is my design that I just made. And because I have the transparent background, I don't need to remove the background. If you forget to do that, just remove the background. It's not a big deal. Come over here and make the image name, whatever you want. Here comes the sun. Tags. And click upload. And now you can, it's in your image library. You can insert it um, into here. Let's get rid of this. So make sure that last message wasn't in there. But um, okay, so now you can put the image. Okay, let's come back here and just start again. So now that it's uploaded, just click on the image that you want. It'll show up in here. And if you want to ungroup it at this point, then you can come in here and delete things. You can change the font color. So let's say we want some of these to be red. Um, and then you just use it like a typical SVG file. So again, this is a really fun way to create, have a new way to create SVG files. It's really easy to use, very user-friendly, um, and I'm a big fan. I usually hire other people to do a lot of my design work, but this has made it so I am able to do a little bit more on my own. So let me know if you have any questions. Again, you can sign up at Can for Canva at the link in the description for this video, and make sure you subscribe for more videos like this.